I squatted two times per week for the last six months straight, totaling 50 sessions, and these are the results. Now for the results to make any type of sense, you're gonna to have to listen to these three key things. First of all, I'm training for strength gains, not bodybuilding. So I'm not concerned with getting bigger muscles and having absolutely thunderous Hulk size quads. I just wanna be able to lift more weight than I ever have before. Secondly, both my heels are gonna be elevated to help me get into a full range squat. I wanna make sure that I'm squatting to a full range of motion. And thirdly, I'm not following any ordinary training program. In every squatting session I did, 10 sets in 10 minutes. The training is inspired by the Dense Strength Method by Keegan Smith. The main idea is that you start a timer, do the exercise with low amount of reps, then rest until the minute is up and then repeat. Is this the optimal way to train? Maybe, maybe not. There are a lot of great methods out there. However, this was the most engaging and time efficient method that I've ever used and that I was able to stick with, which is one of the most important things for me and anyone else that struggles with consistency. This is a one day example of the ramping style dense strength method that I was following for the six months, usually 20 to 25 reps. It allows you to constantly hit PRs. It's one of the best feelings you get in the gym. And if you don't feel up to hitting a PR that day, you can take it easier while still getting more practice in of squatting, whilst knowing you will maybe hit the PR in the next session that's only a couple of days away. Seasons changing. Someone starts to leave Autumn falls on me Fall, winter, and spring Thing is, we got 110 last week. I'm just gonna go for the 120. Yeah. But I also have a shirt off, so that's like easily 10, 15% extra power. I don't really care if that was just a half rep. I'm counting it. All right, we've made it. 50 kilos, 50 kilos, 20 kilos, 120 kilos. Trying it again. I failed it twice. Now's the time. My legs are feeling good. Let's 
go. The last six months all leading up to this point all right six months of squatting two times a week and here's a little bit of a squat summary so far we've got how much weight i've managed to hit each month it's never gone down only slightly up so that is already amazing totaling a 40 percent increase 100 kilos to 140 kilos my weight did go from 80 kilos to 86 kilos so when i started i was stronger than 22 percent of the males my age at 80 kilos putting me in the novice category you can see me here i look quite lean not too much muscle and then you can see that at 86 kilos, I've hit 140, so that puts me in the intermediate category. I'm now 51% stronger than other lifters my age and at 86 kilos. Obviously, the picture's not the best, but you can see that obviously I have put on a, quite a bit of weight. Here's a little video as well of my leg definition. Not that this was what the video was for, but because I know I'll get so many questions about it. Now you can see a comparison in the body scan. You can see that my right thigh had grown four centimeters, my left thigh, three centimeters, left calf, one centimeter, and right calf, two centimeters. You can also see in the actual body scan that my legs do look a little bit thicker, but nevertheless, let's get into the final lift. But this is six months effort into this lift, all right? I had a little bit extra rest because I'm ready to hit the PR, see if we can do it, and we'll see what happens. Let's go. 